restaurant shooting tonight. We've learned a 10 year old celebrating her birthday at a cracker barrel was shot and killed by her father. Kevin Allen also killed his wife and shot his other daughter before police killed him. Just before that shooting, police say Allen's wife told him she was leaving him. Good evening to you. I'm Macy Jepson. And I'm Chris Flanagan. Lee and Denise are both off tonight. Let's get right to our team coverage of this horrific and heartbreaking story. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin live at the Metro Health Medical Center, where the 10 year old survivor is in critical condition right now. But first, we turn to News Channel 5's Paul Kiska live at the Cracker Barrel in Brooklyn. And Paul, police arrived while Kate Allen still on the phone with 911 saying she was afraid of her husband. Well, that's right, Chris. In fact, Brooklyn police were on scene here within three minutes of Kate Allen's 911 call for help. But even their quick, fast response was too late for a domestic dispute that turned tragic. She stated that she had just informed her husband that she wanted a divorce and that she was leaving him and he wasn't taking it well. She stated that he was in his car circling the parking lot. She believed he was waiting for her. She was fearful that he may become violent. Did you have an argument in the restaurant? Yeah. I, I told him that uh, I was leaving him. Kate Allen was with her two daughters at the Cracker Barrel restaurant in Brooklyn last night. It was her daughter Carrie's 10th birthday. Kate told a Brooklyn 911 dispatcher her husband, 51 year old Kevin Allen, met them there, but they got into an argument. I know I saw some shotgun shells. He had a shotgun, but he told me he got rid of it. Kate said her husband had shotgun shells with him, and he was outside circling the restaurant in his Jeep after the argument. Kate told 911 police arrived at the restaurant, but her husband is still there. You can hear someone, possibly a police officer, saying, I just drove up and spotted him. He's driving through the lot now. Yeah, he's here, and the police are here, too. I have to. All right, wait in the lobby for the officer. Do not go outside. Let them talk to him, okay? Ma'am? Police say they found Kevin Allen's Jeep empty. Then heard gunshots inside the restaurant. A witness told 911 there were eight shotgun blasts inside the restaurant. The initial witness accounts have stated Kevin Allen entered the restaurant with a long gun in his hand and selectively fired at close range at his victims. And late this afternoon, the Cuyahoga County Medical Examiner concluded their autopsies today, reporting that the wife, Kate Allen, died after being shot in the head and chest with that shotgun, and her daughter died after being shot, her daughter Carrie, after being shot in the stomach. As for the gunman who was shot and killed by Brooklyn police, the medical examiner says he was shot multiple times throughout his entire body. Live in Brooklyn tonight, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5. All right, Paul, thanks for that live report. We'll see you back here tonight at 6 o'clock.